गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू क्लास सिक्स आई एम निधि शर्मा आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू कंप्यूटर इन दिस क्लास सो लेट्स बिगिन विद चैप्टर वन कंप्यूटर टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट द कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज लैंग्वेज इज अ मीडियम टू एक्सप्रेस आर व्यूज एंड फीलिंग टू कम्युनिकेट विद अ कंप्यूटर वी नीड अ लैंग्वेज दैट अ कंप्यूटर अंडरस्टैंड फॉर एवरी एक्शन अ कंप्यूटर हैज टू बी गिवन इंस्ट्रक्शन अकॉर्डिंगली A program is a set of instructions that tells the computer what to do. Who is she? She is Lady Ada Lovelace, first computer programmer. The process of writing specific instructions in a computer language is called programming. Each programming language has its own specific rules. The development of programming languages has improved considerably with the ease and ability of programmers to write powerful application programs. Students, please note that syntax are the rules governing the formation of statements in a programming language. The development of computer languages has been classified into the following categories. Computer languages first generation as machine language second generation as assembly language third generation as high level language fourth generation language now let us understand what a machine language it is the only language that a computer understands it is expressed in binary form that is 0 and 1 0 means off state and one means on state machine language has the advantage of very high speed and very low memory utilization but understanding and learning machine language is a tough and time consuming process it is very difficult to write and debug programs written in machine language it is extremely machine dependent A machine language program written on one computer may or may not run on another computer. Because of this, very few people opt for specialization in machine language. That is why machine language is also regarded as low level language that is LLL. Let me share a fact with you. The term software was first used by John W. Tukey in 1957. Okay let me tell you about assembly language second generation language this language uses mnemonic codes or symbols in place of 0 and 1 for example if the operation code for add is 0010 in binary language it can be directly written as add in assembly language because assembly language uses symbolic codes hence it is easy to work with assembly language than in binary language since a computer can understand only machine language so assembly language programs have to be converted into machine language translator programs known as assemblers were developed to convert the assembly language program into machine language A program written in assembly language is called a source program whereas the program converted into machine language by the assembler is called object program or object code Like machine language assembly language is also machine dependent and programming in this language is quite time consuming thus it is also regarded as a low level language LLL So here is the summary of the chapter just go through the chapter again revise all the content and do the homework and if you are having any queries just feel free to ask in the whatsapp group thank you so much